do I feel like putting on today? Honestly, the headphones. So if you hear any pounding or anything, that's because the there are construction people outside my condo banging on things, which is always a pleasure. I don't feel like wearing a baby's hat. Hmm. I have not tried to read the QR codes. That was my next step after deciding on an outfit, Magic Muffy. I probably shouldn't wear glasses since I already have gla glasses. Uh, all right, pants. I don't have chalky pants. I don't remember. None of those are looking like jockey pants. Racer pants. Racer's kind of like jockey. Running pants. Well, the horse is running, not me. Boy pants, what else we got? Fireman pants. Hmm. Hope you feel better soon, Ronald Peters. And terrible socks. I just wanted to hear the noise. But honestly, I'm feeling like Hero Jockey, I think. All right, I'm gonna try and read the QR codes that Magic Muffy sent me. Oh, Camera, don't fail me now. Where shall we put them? I'm so running out of space. One, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. Two, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. This has been too easy. Uh -uh. This is what Magic Muffy sent me. I love it. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I think it's awesome. is by uh, Sheep Cakes, but uh, it says alpaca, alpaca Cakes, but you guys have so many different names. It's just like me. Never know who you are, where you are. All right, so where could I put that? Okay, so we can do a Chinese restaurant for Cousteau. We can do... what do you want? You want a shop that sells like high-end goods. That could totally have uh, a cutout of me. And you want a football thing. I am not feeling football this early in the morning. Granted, it's not really early in the morning, but it feels like it. Oh, 
Oh, what do you want? Uh, you want a cooking classroom, cooking school. Any food or drink I could recommend to a sick person? When I'm sick, I like tea. It's like the only time I really crave tea. But, um, all I could say is drink plenty of liquids and get lots of rest. Okay. Chinese restaurant or cooking school? Or high-end shop? I'm thinking Chinese restaurant or cooking school. Hmm, let's go Chinese restaurant, I guess. So, uh, let me update this real quick. So, I haven't heard anything from Nintendo anywhere about Philly. And yet, I went to Best Buy yesterday because Master Paiba said that he went on Saturday, and there she was. So, if you have a Nintendo Zone near you, I know that at this time you can go to it and download Philly. What I don't know is whether we're getting all of the bonus items, because she only comes with a limited number of them, and none of the 7-Eleven branded stuff. I don't know if that's all we're getting or if they're going to be releasing it once a week like they are everywhere else because I haven't seen anything anywhere and I've been looking so if anybody knows anything or could point me in the right direction to some information I would appreciate it otherwise go to Nintendo Zone and pick up Philly I don't know how long she's gonna be there or anything okay If I were a Chinese restaurant, where would I be? I might be someplace with bamboo. So, um, you download it at, this, at the 3DS on the second floor, and mine took forever. I thought it was broken. It just sat there and said connecting to the internet, and then um, eventually she downloaded. But I was seriously going to go stalk the person and tell them that their thing was broken because it wasn't working. It took like five or six minutes for it to do anything. It's not Best Buy specific, I don't think. It's Nintendo Zone. So if you search for Nintendo Zone, you can find like a locator. It's at Best Buy, Starbucks, FedEx. Um, I don't know. There's a bunch of different places that should have her. But I still don't have her or any of her items for this game, unfortunately, so I can't show you. I mean, I guess I could copy the items that I have over to this game using a card, but I haven't I haven't done that yet. Maybe, maybe I'll think about that for tomorrow. I'm looking for more bamboo. I'm not seeing it. Rain. Okay, I don't want rain. I should really... Oh, there's bamboo. Maybe that one. Maybe she is Best Buy specific. I don't know. Like I said, I have no news on it whatsoever. Alright, we'll do two rooms because we'll have a minuscule little kitchen back there and then restaurant. Hello, Cody. It's nice to see you again as well.
All right, what should China Palace look like? That's supposed to be Asian, okay. I finally get to use the cool door, if I can get to it. So many screens away. I love that door and I never get to use it. Do we have a specific roof? I don't think so. one but maybe change the color um can i explain to you how people are able to get the 7-eleven dlc um essentially this game has a feature which it doesn't really tell you how to do very easily offhand where you can save the items in a character's house to an amiibo card and then you could give the amiibo card to a friend and they could get all the items on there um, someone should probably make a fact on it or something, but that's how they get the, the 7-Eleven DLC. So either have someone who's really awesome and sends it to them from Japan, which I don't have, or, um, or they buy it off of somebody. And, um, uh, scan the card and get the items in their game. any of these. That may be the black one and I don't really want a black roof. That's too bright. No. No. Maybe. Ooh, what about a gold one? that just had like gold tips. Although that could work. Really, you don't like bamboo? I know, I never liked when those popped up either. So picky, geez. Don't you want a pretty restaurant? Oops.
I have to put it out just to see what it looks like, but I don't think it's going to stay in my Chinese restaurant exterior. <laughs> I need to go put it in the mall or something. So those are probably more Japanese than Chinese. I'm not real sure. They just say they're Zen, so who knows what that means. Uh, but they're gonna go out here. to import a um, like Zen Garden carpet pattern. Particularly then looking outdoor seating. I know, I was surprised too. doesn't help me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Get to work on the actual restaurant. What do you want? In some table. And a chair. Alrighty. I'm seeing a bunch of people who have the U.S. Collector's Album that seems to only be given by Nintendo reps at events that aren't publicized. Kind of annoying. They look really cute, and I wouldn't mind one, but I never heard of any of the events. I'm not expecting anything. I think I'm just gonna leave that there. Mm -hmm. I was looking for this. Actually, I am kind of expecting something. Be right back. So the thing I was kind of expecting was, um, I got a package from Mochi in the mail and she sent me her fan art and it's so awesome. I can't wait to frame it. And an awesome picture of Julian as well. Okay, I'm back. So I was looking for fish to put out in the restaurant or maybe a cricket. no room in here. Uh, so I was gonna have that be a waiting area, but um, I should totally just stop in the middle, say, okay, this is good, and then make it bigger.
I never really looked at the dim sum table. It's pretty cute. I've never actually had dim sum. So... Hmm... I could just make, like, one table and have it be a super ultra exclusive restaurant. I'm really curious what this one sounds like on the shell. I think that's more restaurant appropriate. serving cart is. I thought it was here. Since it's not, either under lamps, which I don't think so, or um, is it under tables? No. That's right, you're moving soon, huh? What is this year of the sheep right now? I 
hope your move goes smoothly. I personally hate moving. I'm not sure that there's anybody that really likes to move. When I moved here, it was like the longest move of my life. We, um, we closed on the condo on Halloween, and we had to wait to get the floors done here, and we had, we owed rent because our landlord wouldn't let us out of our lease early because she was mean. Um, so we owed rent through December, so our floors weren't getting done until mid-December, so we were like partially moved from like, I started packing, I think, in September, <laughs> and we didn't move in here until after December 9th, I think. Oh, it was so terrible. And then my mom decided to come visit, like, for New Year's, so I was frantically trying to get the place in order after that. Restaurant, but it's got charm and toast lanterns. Um, I don't have room for that. Definitely Japanese. standard kitchen at least to look a bit the funny thing is is we were like partially living here after Thanksgiving because I decided to pack up the kitchen and we wanted to have Thanksgiving dinner so we came over here expecting to stay for like the weekend and bring the cat and just have dinner and hang out and then we kind of never left and we were sleeping on air mattress for like three weeks and it was bizarre because we ordered a bedroom set and we were waiting for the bedroom set to be delivered and we didn't actually move the bed over until the big moving day which was in December so it was like yeah the worst move ever <laughs> I don't think we need a con uh, cauldron in the kitchen I just meant it was non-standard as that my uh, my usual kitchens are pretty clinical looking and I was deciding to go with bamboo for this one. I feel bad for you guys. I, I keep seeing amiibo cards around here and I'm not buying them because I don't need them. Well, I don't have very many US cards, but I don't... I haven't bought any U.S. packs myself. I've just traded some of my Japanese cards for U.S. ones. But, uh, I still see them every once in a while. They had a couple at Best Buy yesterday when I went, and I haven't stopped by... Uh, I think they had some at Target, too, but Target has the really expensive ones. Mm, no sound.
Now that sounds like a rough move, Fingleton. We could put a vending machine in there. Let's see. Well, Toys R Us isn't the only ripoff. Target was charging like $12 for a pack. I just find it funny that um, all the uh, store exclusive amiibo are seeming to be not store exclusive anymore. Like, I saw Lucario at Best Buy and Greninja at Best Buy and I was so confused. I still haven't managed to find um, King Day 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 or uh, any of those, but... Sorry to hear that, Simonaya. Nobody has good moving stories. <laughs> I don't think they exist. Hello, Parker Dog. My mom is still around. Um, she's uh, threatening to come here for Christmas. And I uh, have to figure out how to host Christmas. I've never done that before. I mean, I've had Christmas with uh, just like me and Toast Dad, but usually my mom is a Christmas hoster, and I think she's passing the torch, and it terrifies me. So, well, it probably was Chinese at one point, but not anymore. I'm going to 
gonna try and do it simple, but my stepfather, who will be coming with her, has like all these health issues and he doesn't eat this and he doesn't eat that, but he'll sneak like Girl Scout cookies and so it's going to be a challenge and I'll probably, I don't know, need therapy afterwards. be frantically cleaning for like two weeks before and then the house will be dirty five minutes after they're here that's what happens <laughs> there will most likely be no interior decorating except unless we get a Christmas tree this is the first house That sounds like a plan, Simonaya. <laughs> that would be uh, the easy solution. Get a glazed hand, play a white elephant day game, and call it a day. I tend to overdo everything and I'm sure we'll have to have a turkey uh, and I love to bake so I'll probably have to bake a pie or something that my mother will love and my stepfather Mochi I got your um, package today um, and now I'm derailed <laughs> Well, he's like in the dim sum. It's a very small restaurant. Toast Dad threatened to buy me a set of cross-stitch ornaments to make for Christmas. Uh, I actually don't really eat donuts very much. Um, not even for the holidays, and no one would eat them. My, my mom and my stepdad are, pretend to be healthy. I love making a, a there's this pie that I like to make that's got, it's an apple pie with brandied currants and it's really yummy. And I think it has cranberries too. recipe for my pie that I like. I'll share it in just a second. I'm sorry, Mochi. I know that people get busy and you don't have time to watch. Thank you for thinking of me. 
Yeah, so uh, Benjamin17 is asking how to make bigger houses, and you have to do their house first, and then <clears throat> you have to save and go back to them and tell them that you want to redo their house, like give them a whole new house, I believe, like the second option. And then you uh, tell them you want a bigger house. And you can do that again in um, up to three rooms. to have the different room options unlocked we're using the handbook I hadn't tried before I got that but I'm assuming that that would be the case what is Nasi Simonaya Oh, the yarn balls are adorable. Okay, I was trying to think if I felt like doing a special character or going out and doing uh, somebody random. The only special characters I have left are Lyle and Joan. I think I might save them for later this week. Uh, I don't think there's a new challenge. Let me go check really quick. Nothing. Just says you can look at people's stuff and nothing new. Baked rice with spices and meat, an Indonesian dish. That actually sounds really good. I like spicy foods. Like, not hot, hot, spicy usually, but I like spices. <laughs> oh no, you forgot to do the first challenge. I think all you miss out on is the house and the giant, giant cake which I'm sure somebody jumps out of. All right, what do you want? You want to eat ice cream while uh, playing sports? Sounds very bad. I did grab Philly. I, I'm curious if we're getting the rest of the items. Okay, so this uh, panda does not want uh, extravagance. She wants a normal life. Uh, you want to have uh, picture books and like a kid's library. I was saying that I really need to put the items that I got from Philly, which were not the whole set, um, on this uh, on this game. Save them to a card. Figure out how to do it. Um, this elephant wants to start from zero, whatever that means. I think it's a cave elephant. I hope you have fun, Simonai. It sounds like a good recipe. Part of me wants to do the start from zero because it sounds like a weird one. Let's see, I'm trying to think. And the beginning of life, basically. That could be weird. <laughs> and the the elephant's name is Hajime, which means to begin. What did he want in English, Finkleton? The prehistoric house? Okay, Kyoto Princess has answered. Um 
That's what it sounds like. So, do you guys know what his name is? Because I don't know what it is in English. So, I should give him a room with, like, gene splicing stuff in it, and he can have... He can get together with, uh, Biff, and they can go nuts. Alright, Tucker the Elephant. idea what area says prehistoric. I could do Ice Age. I was thinking of doing more jungly, but maybe I'll put him in the rain. seen him before this game. I feel like with all I've played I should totally have seen more villagers than I have. <laughs> you have a duck nightclub? Uh, never thought of what a duck nightclub would be called. somewhere. That's a little bit. No. No. Maybe? All the ones that have little ponds don't have, um, rain. Ooh, that one does, though. It's a huge pond. Also a huge pond. All right, bear with me. I'll find something. Maybe. That one's just tiny. Oh, my indecisiveness. winter. Hmm. I might give him two rooms because he this may go, like, Harry Research Lab. I haven't decided yet. We'll figure it out. Build Jurassic Park. 
Let's see, where's that scary thing? I think it's under here. Oh. While I'm here, let me grab a fern or two. I have no idea why they carry an umbrella when it's snowing. I never did, but I'm kind of anti-umbrella, so... just making Marshall's house when uh, Sheepcakes made that fan art. stream on the 3DS. I have a capture card in my 3DS Light Magic, so it's modded and it allows me to stream and I use um, OBS software to do all the fun stuff. I should update my banner. I thought I did. I just didn't save it. There. I probably hit the wrong button. Thank you. I think the witch's house is kind of appropriate. Now, I wanted to give him some dinosaur bones. Which dinosaur bones? Well, maybe he'll have to have some of his ancestors. Oops, that's not part of him. to look at like new stuff one second okay so I got the dino meat because I didn't have that before I haven't done patty yet and the pottery do you know what this place may need if I can find some place to put it like hidden behind something my um my lovely cutout Thank <laughs> you. 
First human on the scene. <laughs> oh, you got city folk. Awesome. I played the heck out of city folk. Um, but I haven't touched it in a while. I think I'm... I can't remember if we booted it up last year. So, uh, Doomsayer and I turn City of Folk on, like, every New Year's Eve, and it's our New Year's tradition. Which is kind of weird. We're not out at, like, New Year's parties. We're sitting at home, chilling, playing Animal Crossing, like you do. Okay, so I was looking for the egg lamp. Ooh, yes, that will do nicely. And I was also maybe gonna stick... says I'm a genetic biologist or something It's appropriate to talk about my capture card stuff, but there's a link to where I got it. Historic duckies, you'll be okay. <laughs> I can like do my work from behind there. That's pretty funny. still walk around, okay. That is a lot of amiibo packs open. Good luck with them. I'm still semi-freaking out about wave two.
I have some pre-ordered, but the gap between the waves is a lot shorter this time since they come out at the end of October in Japan and the end of November in um, everywhere else. And so that only gives me like a month to try and collect before the market gets flooded with uh, the other country's stuff. So it might be harder to find doubles, well not doubles, but the ones that I'm missing on eBay and stuff. Uh, they've succeeded in making me broke. <laughs> They're not even trying anymore. to try and have the little egg hidden over here, but that's easier said than done. Uh, I don't know if you can pre-order Series 2 yet, except for Japanese ones. They just announced the release date. Or it was leaked, I don't know if anybody announced anything. outside. could give him like little shanty town in here. I mean, honestly, what would the first house look like? I don't think it'd be made of bricks.
Yeah, it's a little advanced for him. Although, I'm not minding that. I was thinking of giving him a barbecue, but I'm not sure. I think you could totally have some zebra curtains. Or some tiger curtains, as the case may be. Alright, so... I wanted to put some more little mini fossils in here. Possibly Yoshi's egg. my favorite item out of the Mario stuff. I was thinking about the cauldron, but we'll just leave that for Yuka. some of the egg hatched. There are so many ways they could spiff up Animal Crossing if you could actually ride in the vehicles and Yoshi came out and you could trot around on Yoshi. Well, he doesn't look upset about that. Oh, but not that one. That one's just too much. <laughs>
are a little not prehistoric enough. I know, I was surprised about the pillow too, but I'm trying to see if there's something cool I can put on it. Besides toast. I thought this one was ugly. scorpion but you do
I'm still terrible at catching the, st the scorpion and the tarantula. They usually sting me instead. I get freaked out when I just see them. Either that or they run off a cliff or something. Or into the river. It's not quite a Yoshi egg. That's how you get back to the front door. The scorpion drags you. Nope, not that. Ah, oh, the stuff I was looking for was here. Hmm. for the sci-fi set. Thought I would put like the space console in here and stuff. Mm, is it actually under desks? Mm, I don't see it. says I'm going to rebuild the mammoth race or whatever. I just like that because I can play with it. He could possibly be a time-traveling elephant. 
I should have put the jungle sounds in the other room. I think I'm gonna do that and we'll have this one be quiet. I think everybody did Tucker today. It certainly seems like it. <laughs> cooler as a light with it on. I don't have room for the giant whatever that is. <laughs> you just sold Tucker your scale. He's got to weigh his eggs. Play Monster Hunter. I should probably do that. Uh, Doomsayer and I were trying to play our Japanese copies, which we haven't picked up in a long time, and I'm really terrible with the charge blades, so I was trying to make dual blades, and I don't have materials for anything, and I have no money, which is the story of my Monster Hunter life. But after I get done with this, I will be studying, since that's also the story of my life. But if I can pass my test, it'll all be worth it. Okay, I wanted a chair, which I'm not going to find here. I can't decide if I want to use the giant captain's chair, which I don't think so. I should, um... should make it funny and just give him the cabin chair. Like he made that. Uh, my Japanese test is the first Sunday in December. I think it's the 6th? I keep waiting for them to send me my uh, entrance voucher so I know exactly what date it is, although I could just look it up.
What says, I am a mad scientist elephant? Oh, that one kind of does. I love this one. It's so creepy. I do not think that you get anything special from the SP Isabella Amiibo card except the satisfaction of having it in your hands. Topic, but I love that lamp. is done. I have heard that the normal Isabella card is more rare than the others, but I don't know if that's true or not. She didn't seem to be more rare in the Japanese ones. scientist I think he's like the last of his kind and he doesn't want to die out <laughs> maybe I don't know I think the Isabel card in series 2 is supposed to be her in her um, autumn outfit I don't know if there's gonna be anything new on it I'm kind of curious about that as well cause I, is there another KK card Out. 
If he would stand in my face cut out, I would think that was the best thing ever, but I don't know if they do that. So I'm going to save. Um, if you guys have codes you want me to look at, I can do that. If you don't, I can do another house. She's wearing that flower because I put her put it on her actually when I made her a house. So I think that's funny that she keeps wearing it. Now you have to see. Didn't I put a ridiculous hat on Digby? He doesn't have the ridiculous hat on, just Lottie. looked at him holy crap people like her <laughs> her true love house which is kind of uh creepy but oh it's not cute oh i'm sorry you can't connect to the internet which sounds weird since I'm talking to you on the internet, but I'm sure it's a Wi-Fi issue or something. Alright, so I've only got three codes. Oh. I may have to look at your cat cafe, Finkleton, because I tried to make a cat cafe and it was a bust. Although I totally intend to redo it once I actually get cat things. <laughs> they squish the cats. Yeah. That's like their favorite pastime. Oh wow, people have been looking at that one. Oh, 
Okay. Now let's start off with Mr. B's UCLA student store. I've never actually been to UCLA. Oh, Nikki. I see yours as well. I wonder what Chief bought. Okay, if you won't let me pass, I'm just gonna jump over you. Mmm, snacks. I don't have much space left for any uh, designs, but thank you for offering them. Oh, books. These all look too pristine. They're not the used books. <laughs> and I never saw anybody in the bookstore going, ooh, I need that one for class. <laughs> oh, my kitty is throwing up. I think. I'm going to try not to go investigate. I just hope it's on the floor and not on the carpet. Is that the rare book section behind him? So we've been giving the cat some uh, Pepsid every night before bed because she started throwing up like every night. And I think honestly it's because of her her um, sinuses and not actually her, her hair. She gets brushed every day. But um, we didn't give it to her last night just to try and see what happened and lo and behold she has thrown up. Very cute shirts. You do really well with themes. <laughs> Last rings much? Tank's like, mmm, that one. Yeah, Toast Kitty has issues. She had more issues, and I don't know what to do about her, her poor little nose and throat and her breathing, but at least we've got her food situated. So, my um, fun fact that you don't care about for the day is that I still have, like, the first t-shirt that I bought when I visited uh, my college. I went to University of Utah, and uh, I love gymnastics. I did gym gymnastics when I was little, and so I bought a gymnastics t-shirt, and I still wear it as a pretty much nightgown, because I don't actually wear it out in public, but it's my favorite I'm sitting around the house doing nothing shirt. Yes, my kitty is squishy face, very, very squishy face. And she has breathing issues. This is so making me hungry. <laughs> I see you have a fan. They're all wearing the shirts, that is so cute. Oh, 
They are sweet, sweet cats, but they definitely have um, maintenance issues. I wouldn't trade her for anything. All right, thanks for showing off your student store, Mr. B. It was pretty awesome. I actually never heard the term brachycephalic until uh, Sophie got sick last year, and then I heard it a lot. <laughs> oh, how cute! You can send me one, Angsturbator. I may have to shorten your name to something that doesn't creep me out. <laughs> I want my condo to look like this for winter. I don't think it's going to happen. his hands and it looks like he's looking at the picture. Here, we can warm hands together. I heard nothing, Finkleton. Yep, turkey dinner. That's gonna be me. I have to figure out how to make them. breeds Persians, which is where I got Sophie, so that's, I usually make her give uh, Sophie a bath. She doesn't get one very often. That's really cute. I like that pattern. Waiting for Santa. This is cute. Oh, no cookies for Santa, but donuts. That works. Okay, so when I have like troubles thinking about how Christmas is gonna go if my mom actually comes up here, I'll just come back here and it'll be okay. used to going in shops and stuff now. I'm like, oh my god, I walked out the door and I didn't raid it, but I have outside.
All right, next up we've got Simonaya's Anakati. Oh, this was the pizza party. I don't think I've done this one yet. I like dogs, but I think they're a lot more maintenance than cats. So I'm much more of a cat person, probably because I'm lazy. Mmm, pizza oven. Oh, this is a cute little pizza party. You may send a code. Um, I'm going to cut off after you. Because my stomach is growling like crazy mad. I need to go eat. Every time I have cereal, my stomach starts growling. Oh, I didn't notice. I love your little windmill on the cup. That's so cute. Next up, Finkleton. Tucker's home or the cat cafe? I totally want to see the cat cafe. I'll take you home for toast, Dad. <laughs> He's just saying to um, drink as much water as you want, which is kind of weird. They're not actually squashing any of the kitties. Oh, cute! Now I'm squashing them. You can come home with me. He's saying, uh, he's saying it's delicious. Uh, I'm not sure you said something about the amount. I think he needs a bigger cupcake. I like your adoption sign. And Kiki over there with a breakfast plate. All the workers are adorable. She doesn't have enough change. That's what she's upset about. Wow. 
I love your cat cafe. Mine wasn't a cafe, it was just a store, but I'm gonna have to redo it eventually. And I think that's why they didn't sit on mine, because uh, I had them on the little display rugs, like they could buy them. Okay, no cat was harmed in the making of that. <laughs> that one, no kitties were squished, that's awesome. Okay, next up we have Nikki Kaji. Looks cute. Now, oh, the shells right there are very cleverly hidden. <laughs> okay, less window gazing. You can just go to sleep over there. I love the colors in this. Um, you only do Timmy's house, but then Tommy comes over. <laughs> so funny. I can't tell them apart. I don't know which is which. I don't know if I put them on the right bed. I should probably figure out which one's blue and which one's green. Very cute home for twinsies. I love the colors. is creepily just looking out there. I always thought they really were his uh, nephews. They're just cheap labor for him. All right, and last we have a code from Inkster Beta, unless uh, Pyta sends me one that I missed. I don't know. Oh, this is cute. Bye, Gecko Butts! <laughs> this is awesome. I didn't get these um, stones until kind of late, so... I didn't get to put them too many places, but I like them coming up out of the water. <laughs> she has a humidifier. No, nope, won't wake up. That's fine.
Very cute. <laughs> it is her bachelorette pad. Alright, so I think that's going to be it for me for the morning stream. Um, I'll be back tonight, but I will not be playing Happy Home Designer. I'm going to be playing the Monster Hunter Diaries game. And probably going on a few quests, and we'll see what happens with that. And that's all I got. I'll be back tonight. Uh, I'll be back with um, Animal Crossing at the same time tomorrow in the morning. So thank you for watching. Thank you for submitting your codes. And I hope to see y'all soon. Have a great time zone. Bye-bye.